Right now, we want to go back to our lead story, and that is the fact that President Biden is dropping out of the race for president, even endorsing his vice president, Kamala Harris, to replace him at the top of the ticket. After weeks of intense pressure from Democratic lawmakers and donors, the 81-year-old president released a statement announcing his decision to step aside. The statement says in part, quote, it has been the greatest honor of my life to serve as your president. And while it has been my intention to seek reelection, I believe it is in the best interest of my party and the country for me to stand down and to focus solely on fulfilling my duties as president for the remainder of my term. Now, we've had less than 24 hours to take in this huge news from the White House that President Joe Biden is dropping out of the presidential race. And Lauren Crawford joins us this morning with the latest reaction action and now what comes next. Good morning, Lauren. Hey, good morning, Madison. Well, first, let's start with reaction. Two well-known local Democrats posting to Twitter since Biden made the announcement. Representative Mark Vesey, who represents Fort Worth in the Mid-Cities, applauding Biden's achievements and saying he is proud to have worked alongside him. And Representative Jasmine Crockett of Dallas saying Joe was not the problem. Dems were. She went on to endorse Vice President Kamala Harris. Now, the Biden campaign has already filed amended paperwork with the federal election commission from Biden for president to Harris for president. Congressman Lloyd Doggett representing Austin believes the vice president would be an excellent nominee, but he isn't ready to endorse her. Now, while Biden announced he's stepping off the Democratic ticket, he remains the country's commander in chief until the next president is inaugurated in January or until he chooses to step down at a later date. The majority of Democrats who called for Biden to step off the ticket don't want him to resign from office early. Prominent Republicans are seizing on the moment to call for Biden to resign early. It would be wrong and I think unlawful in, in accordance to some of these states' rules for a handful of people to go in a back room and switch it out because they're, they don't like the candidate any longer. Now, President Biden has been isolating at his Delaware home after testing positive for COVID-19. We are told he will address the nation later on this week. Madison, back to you. All right, Lauren, thanks for that update. Meantime, we do want to tell you that Vice President Kamala Harris says that she intends to earn her party's nomination. So coming up at 530, Lacey Beasley is going to take a deep dive into what a presidential run would look like for the current VP. Well, as Democrats prepare their ticket, their Republican counterparts are on the campaign trail. Former President Donald Trump and his vice president pick, Senator J.D. Vance, were in Michigan on Saturday. And supporters even stood in line for days to see the newly minted pair, and security at the event was extra tight. The event marked not only their first event together, but the first since the assassination attempt against the former president. Vance will hold a rally solo in his hometown today. Also happening today, lawmakers are expected to press the head of the Secret Service at a congressional hearing about the assassination attempt. The agency says there were times it did not provide full federal resources to Trump's campaign, though it did not deny any request at the event where the shooting took place. Critics are slamming the agency's preparations and actions during that rally. Well, there's a lot happening in the news right now, but we are staying on top of it as it all unfolds. Remember, we've got updates 24-7 on CBSNewsTexas.com.